Are you mad because the earth is flat? Do you want to live on a globe again? I can help you. Just hang on. First, guess what I bought myself for New Year. Nope, that's not it. Try again. Tinfoil hat? Why would I need that? Try again. No, no, no. Let me tell you. I bought land on the moon. That's right. I'm now the official owner of a piece of land. Amazing, huh? So if you want to live on a globe again, I have good news for you. Just contact me, we'll arrange a price and you can rent my piece of land for like a month or two months. As long as you want, man. For the right price, of course. I'm sure NASA can help you get to the moon. Now I hear you say you don't believe me, but I'm not joking. You see there is this website called Lunarland. It's a company run by Dennis Hope. They are selling land on the moon since 1980. They have sold over 300 million acres and one of those belongs to me. Because look, it's only 29.95. That's cheap man, that's very cheap. You would be stupid if you don't divested this. There are also a lot of celebrities who have land on the moon. Like Tom Hanks, Tom Cruise, Harrison Ford, Clint Eastwood and around 200 more. Maybe you will think, wait, 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 hang on. How can someone own the moon? How can that guy, that is Hope, own the moon? Well, I found this interview. Dennis Hope has owned the moon since 1980 because he says so. In the article they ask him, how did you end up owning and selling off chunks of the moon? And he replies, I started in 1980 when I was going through a divorce. I was out of money and thought, maybe I could make some if I owned some property. Then I looked out the window, saw the moon and thought, hey there's a lot of property. What a moron. When they ask him, how did you acquire it, he replies with, I just filed a claim of ownership for the moon, the other 8 planets and their moons and send it to the United Nations with a note stating that my intent was to subdivide and sell the property to anybody who wants it. I told them that if they had a legal problem with it, they should please let me know. They never responded, shame on them. This guy is doing this full time since 1995, so he is living off of this scam. And it's funny because when some of his clients ask him how they could be protected from governments claiming control of a piece of land or a planet, he decided to start his own government. He even made a lunar constitution and his own currency for the moon. Credit cards don't work on the moon because there is no electricity. So if you are planning to go visit my piece of land, make sure you change your dollars or euros into deltas, because otherwise you will not be able to buy anything. If you decide to mine on my piece of land, you will have to pay taxes to Dennis. I'm sorry, that's the law. So, I think this is the solution. Everyone who wants to keep living on a globe, rent my piece of land and go to the moon. Thanks for watching everyone, see you later.